So today I found myself in possession of this 2019 Ford E350 surveillance van. So I know what you might be thinking, what makes this a surveillance van besides it having just a giant astro topper you can stand up in? Well, As you can see, it was once used by the NYPD, and that in there actually extends to be about 30 feet high. Tonight, we're gonna be camping in the stars with this thing, and we're gonna be seeing if I can deploy it by myself. As excited as I am to get this thing in the air, I feel like the people at this uh, nice rest stop probably wouldn't appreciate it, so we're gonna get on the road, see how she drives, and find ourselves some groceries. You can see on the inside of the van that we have a giant sky capsule, as they call it, that extends the entirety of the back section. And it actually all lifts out. Aside from the sky capsule adding a bunch of weight to this thing, um, it is absolutely not insulated. So as you can imagine, the road noise is pretty loud. on the street because I'm kind of worried about hitting that uh, power line right there. I haven't had to say that ever. How's it going? Good, you? Good. Oh, this thing's a beast. All right, let's blow this popsicle stand, eh? ascending onto the Adirondack Mountains. I'm at Prospect Mountain to be specific, and we're gonna see if we can use this van to see some cool sights. How you doing? Good. So I suppose I need to pay for a uh, auto. auto yep. Yep. Okay. Sweet. Sweet, thank you very much. Have a good night. So one of my favorite things about road tripping is the beautiful views that you get to see along the road. But as you can see, for this particular pull-off, the view is a little bit underwhelming. So although I don't think I can camp here, we're gonna run a test procedure on the vehicle just to make sure it's running properly. 
You can see these stabilizers on all four corners of this vehicle. These are what deploy to help stabilize the top to come up. But first I gotta do a couple steps before I can even put those down. All right. First we gotta turn on our giant lithium battery. We gotta flip our switch over here to on. Next we're gonna come along to the cabin here. We're gonna move some of my junk. We're gonna flip our other switch to the on position. We're gonna come around to the driver's side here. We're going to make sure our parking brake is engaged. And then we are going to take our handy dandy leveler and auto stabilize. Gonna check my work. So now you can see our giant lift jacks have filled up. And we can go ahead and test to see if our capsule will go up. So it has an auto sensing system in it that tells it if it's level or not. And if it's not high enough, it won't go up. Just gotta stabilize some more. My level says left front should come down, so. Left rear down. at this vehicle so we've got a little house on hydraulics that we're gonna be spending the night in tonight but I thought it might be nice to kind of try to come see some sights now there's no way of getting into this thing or out of it when it's up in the air so we're gonna have to drop it back down and I'm gonna try to see if I can't get in and lift myself up all right so Capsule down. Okay. And you I mean you can see this truck is able to fully lift itself off of the ground, which is it's crazy. And just so you are aware, I actually am doing uh, this all alone. So, you know, I could end up getting stuck 30 feet in the air if I don't do this correctly. Um, all right, so this is the little cabin here. You can see I'm still inside of the van. <coughs> Got a little joystick, and now we just... Oh my gosh. Holy crank. Okay, well. Howdy. Right here we got Lake George, some nice fall colors, and a van that has a capsule 30 feet up in the air. So from what I know about this van, 
is that it was in service with the NYPD. They ended up putting like $250,000 into uh, making this thing. And then they, uh, they just forfeited the program. So there's like one of, this is like one of 10, I think, for sale. Inside of here, we've got some crazy security camera system. Um, I'm not necessarily sure how that, this works. Somehow you can deploy like a, like an infrared camera outside through this front hole right here. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but tell you what, this little cabin sky high, it's pretty cool. We've got ourselves some sliding glass windows up here so I can let some fresh in, air in if I want. I've got my own little private view of the Adirondacks. It is really cool. There is a wind gauge up here that'll show you your wind speed and your set point. This car is actually good for uh, being up in 40 mile an hour winds. All right, gonna take in the view for just a second longer because I gotta get down and find myself a camping spot for tonight. Because I can't stay here, unfortunately. Hello? Hey. What's going on? Yeah, what's the deal with that? Uh, just taking it for a test drive. Yeah, it was a van owned by the NYPD. Yeah. And they made like 10 of them. <laughs> so can you see really good? Oh yeah. You can see the whole lake from up here. Shut this. Make sure the door's shut. And our view is slowly gonna go away. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the guys, the guy that I'm borrowing it from, he's, they're selling it. All right, I'm gonna lower this thing back down. <laughs> Have a good one, man. All right. Make sure these are all turned off. Perfect. Okay, well, my test worked. Van runs fine. And so does the capsule. Saved myself about a mile drive from going all the way up into the Adirondacks, <laughs> which isn't much, but I gotta find myself a camp spot for tonight because it's already 4 p.m. And I want to be able to cook dinner up there in the light. All right, well, this is probably just about as good a spot as any. It's hard to find camp spots up here in upstate New York. Power, power. All right, I just got in and it wasn't level enough, so it wasn't gonna go up all the way, so we're gonna see if it's level enough now. Looks like it is. All right, cool. This thing is so crazy, man. Look at this giant piston. It's like it's like having a cherry picker in the back of your in the back of your van. Okay. So I gotta make sure I pack everything in here. Because it's gonna be a long trip down if I uh, end up forgetting something. So I'm really praying that I don't end up killing the battery because this light's gonna be on all night. But I don't have anybody here with me to shut it off, so. I'm just gonna have to take that gamble. 
All right, ascending. Well, a little bit more underwhelming than the last spot, but beautiful nonetheless. We're up here about 35 feet in the air, and this is where I plan to stay for the rest of the night. Let's get some air flowing in here. All right. So there's the van. It's got a giant open cavity in it. <laughs> and we're riverside camping tonight in the Adirondacks. So this thing is equipped with a infrared camera, like I just said. There it is right there. It's a camera monitoring system. Um, There you go, we got video surveillance of the outside with audio. Got a full-blown security system in this thing. Apparently they use an old Xbox 360 controller to hook up to the camera and zoom in and stuff. So, well, uh, before we go to bed, I might mess around a little more with that. Getting kind of hungry, and I got a really nice recipe planned for myself tonight. Well, I did a thing I said I wasn't going to do, and I forgot to bring forgot to bring a phone charger. So, okay, I got my phone charger. Life's a little harder when a little harder to go grab a phone charger out of the car when you're 30 feet up in the air. All right, we got her all set back up. Now, if I do say so myself, it's time to get cooking. All right, welcome to an episode of Surveillance Van Cooking. I'm your host, Maverick Joes. Today we are in the Adirondack Mountains, about 30 feet up on a NYPD surveillance van. Let's get cooking on my favorite meal, some mushroom gnocchi. All right, let's see what I brought here. Some socks. Oh boy. I forgot to buy propane. Oh. Mm. I had a list. I had a list and it was on there. I knew I was forgetting something. That's an important one. So excited to get in the top of this thing, I forgot to buy propane. There we go. I think I got, I think I got the last one. Thank you. Have a good night. And we're back. Got propane. All right, so today we're making gnocchi from scratch. Never done this before. So with me. I'm gonna add a cup of flour.
All right, well, now we have our gnocchi dough. I'm going to cut it into strips. And then we're gonna roll our strips into ropes. All right, there's about three cups of gnocchi. All right, we gotta boil the gnocchi in salted water. So we're gonna salt this bad boy up and then wait for it to boil. You know, one of my favorite Italian restaurants does like a crispy prosciutto. I don't know how they do it, but I'm starting to feel like this is not, this is not the way you do it. All right, we've got some chopped up mushrooms going. Got our salt water just about ready to boil. All that's left to do is finish up with a cream sauce. So the thing about gnocchi is that when it's not cooked, it'll sit at the bottom. When it's finished cooking, it'll start to float. So I keep a close eye on it. Look for ones that are starting to float. I'm gonna pull them as they're ready. See, there's already some starting to come up to the top. So I better get ready here. The one nice thing about cooking 30 feet above your van 
is you don't really have to worry about bears or animals intruding on you when you're cooking, do you? All right. All right, so there's the gnocchi and mushroom. I think it's called like gnocchi a fungi, fungi, <laughs> or something like that. But in my words, it's uh, it looks delicious. We got some leftover crispy prosciutto. I couldn't fit it all in here. Once it cooled down, it actually did kind of kind of get a crispy texture, which is nice. But still, not exactly what I was picturing. Uh, the kind that I've had in the past has been a little bit drier. Made myself my own homemade cream sauce with just butter and some Parmesan. And give us a go. Whoa. Nice and salty from the prosciutto. Getting some nice earthy vibes from the mushroom. The gnocchi for being out of an instant potato packet is pretty awesome. I call this a success for my first time making my own homemade gnocchi. I will say too, might've gone a little AWOL with the cheese in the sauce, but I'm not complaining. I'm very lucky to have found a can of propane tonight at a gas station, found the last one, because I would've been sad if I couldn't this, cook this meal because it's absolutely delicious. All right, I got my bed all set up, a pillow, a sleeping pad. I wanna mess around with this camera a little bit before I go to bed. See if it actually is infrared or not. See if I can figure out how to make this Xbox controller work. get how I move you. How do I move you? Well, it says camera up, down, and I do this. You can see the camera. Is it moving? I've been kind of rummaging around and trying to find a place to plug in this little USB, but the only USB spot I can find is the one where the mouse is plugged into, and I already tried it. it doesn't do anything. Also, there's a login for admin. Pretty funny. Also, it is really funny that there's an unbranded Xbox 360 controller with a, with a USB plug-in. It is pretty funny. You can definitely feel that you're up in the air. Like, other great uses for this thing besides camping would be mobile lifeguard stand, mobile deer stand, a vehicle that you can rescue your neighbor's cat out of the tree in, you can wash all your friends' windows. I'm not going to sleep in it. I'm just going to sleep in it. I'm a 30 feet club. This is good night. Okay. It is so quiet up here. What the heck? Whoa. I must have been tired last night because I slept for 
almost 11 hours. This morning and last night, we've been lucky enough to have pretty much zero mile an hour as a wind. Highest I saw was five. ourselves up up here we have a little little hat box well not like not like that you know what i mean oh here's nice should I turn that on the last night does anybody know what kind of bird this is oh, that's a that's a blue jay whoa Might be time to bring this thing down. Last night I was hearing people drive by and I had like three or four people stop and go, what in the heck is that? And honestly, I would probably do the same thing. 